Right. Back in the game. So I'm going to kind of recreate what I did, I think. So it's piano. Okay, we're back in. Use Lander for mastering dubs. Yeah, Lander's that like a, that's an AI thing, right? How is that? Yeah, I remember the chords, yeah. I brassy to use uh, Walter. Okay, I found him at the run. Oh, Grant Nelson, right. You found him on the, the run out part. Cool. What inscribed into the, the vinyl? Online mastering. I think um, if you're on a budget, you mean by robots, like AI, like Lander's uh, AI thing, where, where, where it just literally kind of analyzes it and does what it thinks is, 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 is good to it. But obviously online, as in sending to someone, is, is fine. But I think it's probably cheaper than the Lander thing, right? Mm. Okay. Piano, piano. Don't need the second lot. with the E at the top right. First one was cool, I think. Uh, I'm just going to save, <laughs> save, save, save. Okay. I've had, to, I should tell you some funny things I've had. I've had, um, I've had sessions where I've been doing uh, a track on a sampler, like an Akai sampler. And I've basically spent most of the day sampling, creating key groups, programs, uh, and then someone went round the back and tripped over the, the plug. And like, you're sort of at this moment <laughs> where everyone just looks at each other like, did you save it? I'm like, no. Did you? No. And then sort of the realisation dawns on everyone that um, it's gone. <laughs> uh, what were we on like? I'm call this six. I think it's six. Yeah. And I always think in situations like that, when you lose everything, you've just got to jump straight back on. And quite often, um, you get something good out of it. Because you have to persevere, man. And and sometimes it's, it's good because you've done it before and you kind of learn the lessons and it's kind of clearer. Right. Got to keep on trucking. I watched um, Castaway, Tom Hanks, last night, and that's that's the story there, right? He's all kind of pages and timing and do this and da da da. I did the wrong one, didn't I? That was like a piano thing over the top. Quite liked it. Uh. That sort of vibe. Okay, cool. 
Um, Steve says, I bet you find Untitled 3 kicking about autosave. Yeah, probably. But it, it, yeah, because it was untitled. So when you go to go, re to, go to recent in Logic, it's not there. So yeah, it probably was somewhere, but fuck it. You can do it again. Okay, we've got those. Let's save. Richard at Strongham, I need my aircon fixed. <laughs> okay, so then there was this synth vibe. I'm not opening that OB again. Uh, oh yeah, we had this, um, that sign pad, right? Okay, I liked that. Let's get it back. Keys. Uh, yeah, I used it. I just saw there, I used it in Soak It Up as well. A kind of sign slidey thing. I haven't played the chords yet, have I? Okay. My mate sent me um, a video of this guy. Um, he's got decks and he's just outside somewhere in Hyde Park. And it looks like he's just got decks and he's starting to do a set outside. And then you find out it's actually on the front of a bike and he rides off and he's got like his decks on the front of this bike. He's riding around, he's got a mic. Um, he's all down the South Bank and stuff, but he's playing um, drum and bass in Jungle. Legend. away <laughs> I had to go and feed the pigeon Are you, is that right cats we've basically gone back yeah so basically what happened is we started making a track uh, and then my computer completely bombed I was trying to open logic and it crashed as soon as I opened it so I had to restart my computer unplug my computer stick my lap on my laptop Give it, um, give it a telling off, and now, and I lost whatever it was, so we need to do it again. Okay, so now we're going to do this synthy thing again, right? Funny when you when you go back, you realise how much you actually did. You're actually getting somewhere. Uh, okay, we're gonna. Uh, I think this needs to be bigger. Not a pet pigeon, just one of the garden dudes. Name them Pigeon Perry. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, some of the pigeons around here in London. Uh, Pretty manky. Right. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, so it's like. I think we'll go up and down more. Okay. 
transform it. D -d Double. No, I liked it before when it kind of went more up than down. Okay. Okay, it's the first one. Do you know what? Shall I fix this click? Iggy, my neighbour, um, said my click was well loud. Would I ever work with some of the guys that I used to work with again? Uh, nothing's impossible, but I'm kind of I'm pretty happy with the people I'm working with. I'm always up for, well, I'm not always up for everything, but yeah, why not? Okay, so second chord. So, yeah, it stays on. Um, something <laughs> my neighbor complained about net no 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 uh, iggy's just watching the stream and he just said um in a very nice way he's like the nicest guy in the world uh, the metronome is a bit loud yeah you've got to start at the right place Oh, mate. I don't know how to say your name. Is it Gesh? Geshe from Other Side London? Not CBD, yeah. Those guys sent me a care package, like a really nice box with all sorts in it. It was great. Thank you. Okay, you're on the third chord. This is... Uh, uh, this but it's going to be cool I don't know if it's going to be cool it might be shit it's a good way of doing things like this to get away from your kind of comfort zone and, and, and doing the normal things that you do Actually, the fourth chord. Let's do this one. 
It's like uh, F major 7. Why don't I transpose up and down what I already did? Um, they're different chords, so the intervals are different. Otherwise, they'd be um, just parallels, which is a vibe as well. That's kind of like if you do a sample and you put a chord up and down, that's what you get. You can use the chord, um, the MIDI thing in Logic to do that as well, like this. Uh, where is it? MIDI effects. Uh, I think it's cool trigger, yeah. Yeah, this is these all parallels. So if I was to do that, you get this kind of ravey thing. So all the, the intervals stay the same the whole time. I think you can play a chord. Um, let's say it was the first chord. It, 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 it just really sounds like um, old things where you take a cool stab. Also, that sounds a bit, yeah. But it'd be nice in the slide as well. Yeah, but anyway, um, that's why I don't, I'm playing everything separately because the, the chords are different. Uh, and then it was like double the speed of that. Okay, we're nearly back where we were, I think. Double that, yeah. These velocities equal. Okay, and then space them out. Got this one. shortcut for that. Um, so I'm going to colour them the same actually. Right, so these are blues. This is this chord. Pink business. Good recovery, thanks. He's recovered it! That was pretty major. I could have just um, given up but I didn't. I've had a lot go wrong on my stream. Normally the camera fucks up at some point. Okay, we're rolling. So we've got these piano chords, which are... Okay, so these like the master MIDI notes. Um, let's not stick it on the, I quite liked it. Should we try the, should we try the synth again? Was that what messed it up or was it just the heat? I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm going to save. 
I want to try it again because it, it was going to be good that. Uh, let's meet these. Oh, what was it? IB6. Uh, not that. And then. It's kind of sticky in the MIDI and stuff. Behave. Sick stream. I don't know if it is. Yeah, maybe it is. I keep meaning to do more. I've just been, I'm, I'm just like super busy at the moment. This could be, uh, this could be bad again. We'll see. I think we're here. Is there something? Good? Yeah. It's quite good to open the filter on these things. Okay, we've got something. So. I think longer gap for these as well, so we get a good tail. Land tail. Chop, 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 chop. Do something like that. Cool. So let's record this. I mean, really early that as well. We'll see. Et voilà. Et voilà. Okay, so that's going to be our synth recording thing there. Uh, let's just whack it here. Cool. So let's try some other bits. That's quite nice. I'm going to play with this on the machine. Very low level still. Okay. 
It's quite nice doing tunes uh, with synths when you do passes, just audio, and just play with it as you go along. It can be cool. Let's try and make this shorter. Take it. Here we go. Yeah, OB6 sounds wicked. Oxtail. <laughs> Okay, cool, that one's done. Uh, we'll just try a few of these and then do some processing. Okay. So Bossy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save, don't worry. Thanks for the reminder. I reckon that's um, why Wookie called that tune Back Up, Back Up. Because uh, I think he had it on, on the back of his studio door. It's like, oh, fuck, when we call that tune? Oh, there you go. So many tunes are just called things um, that you see in the studio. Okay, let's pick another one. Maybe just one more of these OBs. The good thing about this editor is you can, um, it, it, it categorizes all the sounds. So you can kind of look through keys, organ, strings, da la la. Whereas on the um, actual synth itself, it's just you have to pick which 10 it is and then which subdivision of that. So it's kind of useful like that. Guess who's bark? Commodore 65. When's the bark tune coming? <laughs> there he is. He loves it. I've had, I've had him for ages, this guy. He's kind of like a bit um, faded, faded and jaded, but he's still, he's still up for it. It's quite nice. You notice I keep going for the filter, it's the wrong one.
Maggie's cool. Has she got a scooter? I just started watching uh, South Parks again. I didn't realise it was still going on, so I've got like five seasons to watch. Okay, let's take this one. love about South Park as well they, they kind of make the episodes so quick so that they're, they're always current unless you watch them five years after okay that's cool for that okay so we've got those oh I'm going to save now yeah I thought they sound like together, it's gonna be loud. Let's try a different synth. Let's try a soft synth. Uh, let's go Omni and see. It's just massive. Oh yeah, Kit, Kit Bogue is amazing. Fallout Lord, yeah. I just discovered him um, a month ago. I mean, he's a genius, that guy. He's, he's so clever, the way he's kind of doing the voice changes and doing different voices and keeps track of everything. And and he's like a, a, a sick coder as well, using all those fake bank accounts. And yeah, it's, it's impressive. Yeah, when he gets the loop going and he's just he just got kind of buttons with uh, voice changes and he keeps track of it all and um yeah. Oh you like the shitty nappy wet divers? <laughs> cool, we'll take it. Okay, got that. Right. Actually, try some ARP stuff with it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> MJ Cole saying she ain't happy. <laughs> I've had to say it before belief. Interesting. Some like big, so some really overdone pad stuff. Yeah. Um, for reverses. So we've got these things. What we're we gonna do with them? Mm. Okay, let's just listen to these separately. Deep Demote says, do the patch names ever put you off? <laughs> yeah, I guess sometimes, but I normally just flick through them. But if some, something sounds good, it's good. Okay, we've got that. That's what we've asked you. should really do is just go and normalize them. It's a bit long all this but I know I can do it on the region but I want it file. Okay. So, yeah, thanks, man. The Poly 6, um, I've been... I've never had one to mess around on enough, but I hear they're, they're, they're wicked, yeah. I think synths are quite a good thing to hire in. You can hire, you know, just hire a synth for a week and then you get right into it. Um, I've definitely been through sort of times before when I've bought a few things at the same time and you never get into them as much. Like I remember when I got this OP1, um, it was Christmas and I wasn't even at the studio and I just literally um, was inside out that thing. And I remember that, like the first synth I ever got, I got, um, what's the first synth? It was um, Yamaha SY22. 
and um, I just knew it inside out. And Kane, the polyphony on it, had Antari at the time. Um, I used to have a shortcut for normalize, as you can see, and it's not that anymore. Okay, cool. And that looks all right, to be honest. Okay. Right, what's going at the end of these? Okay, I'm just going to see what these sound like backwards. we can get something really interesting from that. A lot of noise. Yeah, I love that. Oh, where's the noise coming from? It's from the, um, it's the run from the synth rack all the way through all the bits. And because I normalized it, um, it was picking it up. Yeah, see, I love them backwards. Okay, so um, I want to do a sample instrument with these and I need to think how I'm going to do it because sometimes you want to have, how many you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you kind of want to have them at the same corresponding place on the octave. So if you play a C, it's going to play the first chord and then the C above that, it's going to play the first chord but in a different sound. So you can um, switch between the sounds and know that you're playing the same chord or just pile them all in. So how many... So, uh, da -da -da -da. It's the quick ones we need to split up as well. as well aren't they? Should have done these as well. I oh, know they're backwards, that's fine. Okay. Um, right, I was gonna chop them like this. So these are all gonna go into the sampler. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Hold on, so it's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's like 64. That's a whole sampler instrument. And then if you do the backwards ones as well, they, they'll probably be, um, yeah, I want to move the start points for those manually, the reverses. Yeah, they're all over the place. I might just chuck those in together and just do it manually. So um, probably do this, not that. Yeah, it's a yeah, cable thing. I don't know what's going on. There, there's some sort of interference somewhere. It's supposed to be all balanced, but 
and it will just be power and stuff. Right. Uh, I'm probably going to do this. So it's all quite long winded this, but I think it's worth it just to just to go off piece a little bit. Okay, cool. This. So that so this is going to go into a sample instrument just like that. Um, so that's those kind of dealt with the backwards ones, and then these uh, I could probably just do it with regions, do it automatically. Uh, so actually, stick this down here. That's going to go in, uh, and then these. I think I'll just do it like this. I need to get the Maggie Simpson one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all these regions will be able to go in together, I hope. And because they were normalized within themselves, you shouldn't you should end up with a, end up with a sample instrument that's decent. Yeah, unless you can play that with it. Okay, let's just try and make a sample instrument from this. Um, what I'm trying to do. Why is it not coming up? Sampler track. So regions, yeah. Sampler, um, C1, I think we've got slightly too many zones. But let's see if this does it. Man, this computer's not well. Yeah, so that we've now got sample instrument with these forward ones. Now they're in sample, we can obviously like tune them around, do the filters and all of them. Evening Swift. Sub Crypto Mafia, I love the world tempered clavier vibe. Yeah. Barks the man. Hey man, I want to get a t-shirt. Instead of saying Mayachon, there's something to do with Bark Nice. <laughs> Someone said Bark soon. So look, there's, it's, it's juicy. Let's do the reverse. It's going to be a little bit of a longer thing. So now we've got a sample instrument, which is cool. Uh, where do we start these piano chords? Right, cool. Save, save, save. Let's move this up here, it's all part of the friendly zone. So 
So we don't need these anymore. And yeah, this, these are the reverses. Um, I'm going to have to do this one manually, probably. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do it. It's a little bit of a, a long thing. I don't really, yeah. I don't really know this new thing. Nineteen degrees. Yeah, in my studio, it's saying it's uh, twenty-seven now. Oh, look at that. That's useful, isn't it? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, what I should have done is not do that and just dragged it in. Let's just let's just do it. Oh, come on. You can do it, man. Okay. friendly this is kind of changed the way it's working um Okay, one sec, I'm just gonna drag this off, do it the way I know. Synthrack one, okay, cool. Okay, these are reverses yet. Yeah. Every time I see Judd Trump, the snooker player, I don't even know. I think MJ Cole looks like you. <laughs> you mean he looks like me? <laughs> Who's this guy? So quite often with these reverses, I, I, I'm going to try and get some sort of traction on them. So not just start them from nothing. And then I sort of need to be consistent. This has changed as well. So yeah, this is a bit of a long way of doing it, but I need to set the start times. That's nice chord now. John Terry, yeah, I've had that one before. I'm not too disappointed with that. But yeah, Judd Trump, is it, is it, is it Trump's son? I'm not sure I like the idea of that. There can't be that much genetic variation possible for me to like that, if you know what I mean. This is annoying in the new sample. I don't know, it just doesn't go up to 127 automatically. So these. I really like that chord. 
It could be some like kind of mad space things. Same chord again. So these are kind of, um, these are very articulated. So. It's whether I want the beginning or the actual notes. Because I think the um, that actual run is not dissimilar to how it is the other way around. So let's take the beginning and then um, it can always be chopped again. Is it is it is it Trump's son and he's snooker playing? Is he good player? I should have chopped these later because it's just like a note. Those are the fast ones, they were nice. I don't really like that. I think we've got that. I bet these are nice uh, down. <laughs> Talented snooker player, but you can't play a pizzicato string. Yeah. Are you being an idiot about Donald? Okay, right. <laughs> Do I have any links to English mustard? No. My name's got an E in, so it's not. That's Coleman, not Coleman's. But yeah, my my um people used to call me that at school. Oh, you mustard. I know it's a punch thing. So that died down quickly. Okay, I pitched it right, come on. So these high ones, they're cool. I'm gonna race through this now, because this is like boring. I actually find it quite cathartic, this stuff. And I think when you, um, you spend a lot of time doing this, it kind of gets, um, gets you revved up for the game. That's it, I'm ending now. Bye. I bet you don't use any of those. Okay. I'm sort of bored of those. It's similar to the first synth sound, but we'll, we'll chop these. Oh, I love that chord. It's like a, it's a cluster. I 
chest patients, yeah. 147 tempo for the for the snooker player, yeah. Thank you for being here with me in this sampling. We've had a computer crash as well for anyone who just joined. Uh, we lost everything. Put it back. I'm going to save. The auto save will be working now anyway. Over that chord. Yeah. These were the pads, so I was looking for a pad. Be any tempo as well. Yeah, I'm into it. Need to try and get them similar at a similar place in the tail, or they can just change it after. When I get channel points, you'd have to save uh, something for chat to unlock. Yeah, man, definite. Yeah, it's only, it's, it's, it, it didn't use, Logic didn't use to auto save all the time, or it, you know, it used to be hairy. But yeah, nothing like the, the story I told you earlier, where um, I just made a whole track with some people and spent the whole day sampling. Bit like this, but just going through loads of vinyl, processing stuff, doing all this, but on an Akai with all the wheels and the buttons. And then uh, someone just walked around the back and it's like, mate, you just tripped over the plug. It's like, oh, what? did you save? It's like, no, did you? No. And then it's a sort of dawned, dawn of realization that it's all gone, cast away. Is um is job playing at the moment? I've got to check this guy out. I, I bet he's um it's not gonna be amusing for me, is it? If it is for you lot. I'm I'm just uh not concentrating. Let's have a little chop. See, um, I, I could change these start times as well, so they're chops. Something like that would be nice. Stab. This is all these velocities. They never go up to one, two, seven. That's it.
excited about the those reverses earlier. It's not gonna be a vocal track. Is that football on again? I said I told them not to play football when I'm doing my stream. It's just done. It's inconsiderate. Bet you I don't use these. But they might be good. Up. They all sound the same. I'm not sure about these either. Yeah, I said um, not a vocal track because um, it's. I, I, I'm not saying that I don't want it to be, but um, it, it's quite. If you've got chords like these, that they're, they're not kind of um, diatonic, obvious singer vocal line to. Um, I tell you, I tell you, who's the king of singing stuff like this? Sampha. He can just pick out melodies and things like this, things that, that other people would run a mile from because they're just not um, like standard chords. But he loves it. He's a, he's, he's a genius. Actually, Lil Silver, who, who works with him a lot as well, he's, he's great at picking out stuff from pretty wonky business. these now. I think the ones good ones at the beginning. These are cool. And it quite often in my experience, if you end up using some of the chords and then you want a, a variation, you can bet that you didn't chop the other chord. These will be good to be in the library. When I get the Discord rolling, I'll um, I'll chuck some of this stuff in there. You can have it. These sound the same. Interesting. The beginning of this. So I need to make sure I chop that right on. Let's chop. DJ Modo, I heard you having issues with my Mac. Yeah, my Mac, um, I had this thing, everyone saw it earlier, where 
Logic throws, beach ball, standard. And then when I was rebooting Logic, it would, um, even off a force quit, it would um, just hang while it was um, loading. So I had to restart my whole laptop. And um, I think it's a heat issue. I've got no aircon in here at the moment. Um, and he doesn't like it. Okay, cool. That's a sampler instrument. Uh, I'm going to save it in my sample instruments. It's a great place to save stuff. Um, okay. I don't know why I call it stabs. It's not stabs, but yeah. Okay. Um, let's just organize this. So this stuff, don't really, I'm not really interested in it. Um, let's just hide it. Cool. And these, so we've got the piano chords. This could be like a breakdown thing. So these are the original source things. We'll keep those. And then the sine chords. Fart in bath dot wav. Yeah, Sanford's he's amazing. Um, I'm on a MacBook Pro. I've got to, I've got a streaming one and then a, a studio one as well. Download Mac fan controller from Crystal Media. It's free, set your fans to 80%. It bypasses the SMC. Stay cool. Okay, that is a great tip. Thanks, dude. I'm going to put, I'm going to copy that, put it in my notes. Thanks, man. I'm waiting uh, when the M1s come. I think they, they run, they're going to run a lot cooler, right? Uh, I'll get one. Okay, let's put these at the beginning. So it doesn't look like we've got anything, but we've got these sound instruments. These, these are the ones that came from the region, so that... Well, I can mess around with them as we go. just as a different section and then it goes off into space maybe it's like a
might just um, <clears throat> bounce this. I quite like it. Make it a bit nicer. Hold on. Let's do something with these. this <clears throat> how many files are called bounce and then you call it like bounce uh, bounce yeah I think it's just good to bounce that while when the eye when the sound is there just get it so we've got this as audio so we can play with that a bit we end up using it uh, and we can take this off the master Bring this bad boy up into the spotlight. Fall out of those ops get the um, fan speeds increasing for sure, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you would have thought that an, an ARP might be a bit cooling. <laughs> Got to wait for the software to update for the M1 hardware. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were waiting for. Yeah, it's the plugs. I think the, the, the um, you can get a small one at the moment, right? I think that's it, the logic's totally fine. It's just all the, 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 these kind of spurious third-party plugins that make us all nervous. But there's no uh, bigger MacBook Pro yet with an M1. I think it's just the, uh, I don't know what it is. Is, is it, um, not MacBook Air, but just a smaller one, like a, uh, I don't know, 10 inch or something. And we safe. the reverses that are in order. Oh yeah, 13 inch MacBook Pro at the moment, yeah, M1. But it hasn't got um, four Thunderbolts on, has it? I think it's just got two, right, or something. I'm just, I'm just kind of thinking how this is going to go, and I don't want to just rush in and make it shit. I want to do a beat for this, 
that isn't the real thing. It's just like a half time beat, I think. Should probably do this after, but I just want to go. I want it to be old sounding. So I have to remember these are just the different variations. Um, because I could I bounce them. Yeah. And we safe. Jaw beat, yeah. Broken jazz half beat, yeah. Yeah, so my 808 bass um, is, I've talked about it before, but I'm happy to talk about it. it. It's from, there's a contact plugin called, I think it's called 808 Warfare. And I I just basically 
I always ended up using 808 Warfare and putting an octave above it and putting a certain sort of amount of distortion on. So um, I just sampled it and I've got it as a, a sample. And it, it kind of means if it's in my sampler, I can use these filters. Uh, which you couldn't do in, in the thing. And you can have like two different filters, obviously. This one doing a different thing. So it gives you a lot of control. ideas out yeah yeah you do. it really helps if you can hear something before and then try and do it even if you mess it up and don't get it right I, I really find like if you have an idea of a beat in your head and you try and achieve that rather than just painting on the on, on the screen for me it works but everyone's different I mean I've seen like absolute um bad boys just like get on fruity just and it just sounds amazing there's something to be said for doing stuff on a drum sequence as well. There's so many ways of doing everything. Um, you just got to follow what you want to do. There's no right or wrong. All right, I don't want to spend too long. This isn't going to be the tune. This is like the half time. I don't really like these sort of drill hats, I think. I prefer these uh, Dilla ones. Come on, Dylan. start for something on its own I can hear it like it gives you another chord Thank you. 
It's like a G minor thing. Let's put it down in case. Going off on a bit of a tangent here, but okay.
Do I have banks of just snares, just kicks, just hats? Yeah. Um, it varies. I have some kits, but I generally just have a load of kicks all together, a load of hats, a load of snares, uh, rims, claps, things like that. The advantage of having a kit is you can you, you can obviously feel something out on one keyboard, um, but I kind of like to have a selection to go through. But You like the piano? Yeah, man. I just, there's something about me in the piano. I feel very comfortable at the piano. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. And this is sort of a tangent as well. But they're good tangents. like that. Dual garage hybrid. I'm doing the same thing. Oh, thanks, cats. It's like whether to do a sort of interesting two-step thing or just kind of bang it out. I think it should be like an interesting, like, I don't know.
Brock step, lamb step. <laughs> there's gonna, there, there's some mileage. I like all these sort of um, precursory little chips in and stuff. It's good. We're cr creating a picture. Okay, fuck it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create two beats and just see what fits because I think I think these samples might be choppy as well but basically you have to do something right I don't know if it's gonna I think it's gonna have to be more urgent than that in about two and a half minutes. do some beats and then see some air con man. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do my slow trick.
very 20. Or hits, as my Kiwi mate says, hits. Let's get some hits. So I'm going to do some little fillers. I want to make this interesting before I get into the kicks and, and stuff. So start with the details. Um, I might get some sort of texture going. Have I ever performed in Australia? Yeah, loads. Yeah, all over. Well, <laughs> the main places. Yeah, like Byron, Perth, Sydney, uh, Melbourne. I love it over there, especially in January. Some Scott, some um, textures. I'm thinking. Scott, it's, it's funny you put too many things in when you do it. So, but it, it it can give the beat an urgency. I think.
try this satin again. Gold Coast, yeah. I get it. Where's that? Is that like the top bit on the on the right? Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I've done Jules Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, do I still DJ with Ableton on on, on a, a map? But no, I haven't DJ for three years. But um, I probably played off Ableton for about I don't know five ten years, and then I went um, CDJs. I'll tell you what happened. I was playing at um, Boardmasters um, down in Cornwall, I think it was. And um, basically, I was at this hotel and the guy said, yeah, 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 it's a, just walk. It's just across that field. So basically, you don't need to get a cab or anything. And I had this massive Ableton set up. So I had a massive 17-inch uh, MacBook, like controllers, all the leads and power supplies, like quite a heavy case, but on wheels. And I went to go and... Um, walk across the field to this um stage and it was a nightmare you know it took me ages and then I got there and the guy before me was just playing off CDJs and he just he whipped out his USBs and just disappeared into the field and I'm like that's me I need to do that so yeah I switched to um USBs after that but having said that I I, I miss Ableton because it was really creative um, I had a really good controller thing going with filters all over it, beat, beat repeats, and I really liked the way um, you could jump around. It kind of felt a bit like cheating after vinyl because it was all synced, but it opened up a whole new world of um, creative possibilities um, that I really liked. And actually, uh, I think that was my favourite time was, was DJing off um, Ableton because I just loved it. It was kind of halfway to the studio. And, you know, I come from vinyl and CDJs never really felt the same to me. I really like the feel of the vinyl and the needle and be able to put your hand on the platter and just kind of ride the um, pitch control and just be able to spin back and turn the power off and all these sort of very tactile vinyl things um, I really enjoyed. And I never quite got the same way with CDJs. It always just felt a little bit kind of removed to me. Um but who knows, if I ever DJ again, I, I wonder what the setup will be. We'll see, I don't know if I will. Preset King. I don't know how to use it. And we safe. Sorry, I missed all this stuff. Maybe some bongos or tom tom. Yeah, sixteen T organic beats. 
organic chops. New key, yeah, yeah, yeah. Near Massive Cliff. Yeah, Wicked Festival. I played there a few times. Ableton Link with Record Box. Um, no, I haven't used that. Okay, I need to get on with it. I've been on for ages, man. Okay. We've, got, we've got work to do, man. After all that um, sample frenzy, it deserves... I like this ring though.
Yeah, I think some of those um, snares I used to have on my sampler. I probably nicked them off someone else, but it's funny how they all go around those things. kicks a bit like techno. And, and, and now I try the other stuff back. This texture thing's kind of like, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna try these refs. asking about headphones um what are these <laughs> have they got built-in aircon i don't know are they bayer dynamics or something
Dear condoms. What's all that about? I've got aircon uh, air headphones. Cold dear condoms. Respect.
Sloan. What plugin? <laughs> Sorry, I just went on a bit. Yeah, man, we're gonna do Discord. I need to. Fuck knows. Can someone sort it out for me? I think I need to get my. Um... Basically, I need to do more streams, more than once a week, to get my affiliate thing or something. Good with like a, a like a space wrap on it. I think we need that. I think like right, roots maneuver.
is a bad boy. Don't know about it for this though. Disco stuff. It's amazing. I want to get these. Uh, We made this pad. This pad started out as a load of arpeggio notes. Arpeggio notes that were put through different synths and then bounced, reversed, and then chopped up in the sampler. So proud of those. Original. Cycled up a lot of hills in Hampstead. There's no excuse. I'm going to have to look through some of these little sounds. some of these. Oh yeah, we used that on the first one. Huh? That was it. Thank you. 
First note. I changed something as well to fix that. Yeah, Swift, yeah, drop drop that in man, thanks. Roast leg of lamb next here, coming up, mint sauce. We have actually done a bit of chopping, to be fair. I could whip out the same vocals I always get out from uh, Arcade. We could try Arcade. Do we need vocals? I think sometimes I just chuck them in because it's like the next thing.
Really, I've been Are you actually a cat, cat? Like the most intelligent, literate cat in the world. Male cat, man, it's a shame. <laughs> Letter B vocals. Mint sauce, the condiment of champions. Yeah, I love it when they have mint sauce in, in, in like the proper silver, like genie. It's like a genie pot thing, isn't it? You know, with a proper spout and that's the lick. I'm not actually a mint sauce fan, but I appreciate, I appreciate mint sauce. I'm into condiments. I think, I think a good sauce with the right thing is good. I like chilli sauces, things like that, but also I'm a straight up. Ketchup is cool. I like a Bernays. Mint sauce boat, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's true. If it's a mint sauce boat, the mint sauce, it should be floating on the boat, right? What kind of liquid does a mint sauce boat float on? Are you seeing grass ain't greener? Man, I've got a story about that. So I did that remix. Um, I'd basically been to Kavos and got mashed up and had some horrible moped crash, broke my wrist. They set it in the hospital over there, messed it up. I came back, went straight to hospital. They're like, you've got to come in and have an operation. I'd stay overnight. Had my um, wrist pinned and all this kind of stuff, screws in there. And uh, I had a remix to do. And I just got a new, that's what the first time I got a Mac. And the first time I had Logic as well. So I'd just come from Cubase and Atari. And I had to do this remix in my bedroom with a broken arm my right hand so just left-handed on a new computer with a new bit of software um and i did grass is greener 
That was like mixed. I mixed that at home just on a little Mackie 2404, just on those tiny little Mackie things. And it kind of felt like if you touched anything, the mix would just be destroyed. Hi, Mysup. 140. Nice seat. Yeah, Kavos, dangerous. I've got a few stories to tell from there. I've got a few stories to tell in general. I'm going to do a book one day. Oh, what was this weird? To do story night on Twitch. Tonight's story. You used to get that. Um, people you'd never expect would do like story time on, on, on CBBS and stuff. Just like sort of Hollywood legends and chefs and stuff like that. Boat selector. 
apple cider vinegar and drink that in water. Yeah, it's supposed to be good for you. It's rank though, right? Do I like adding tape effects so early in the process? Um, I just whack on whatever. I'm just messing around really today. So it's just whatever I fancy. Oh, it ain't all good. Oh, the De La Soul thing, yeah, it's a vibe. Crash symbol, yeah. <laughs> I was going to have a noodle on the road. Let's see if it works. Hold on. I've got Rhodes cam as well. It's not that flattering.
Uh, thanks, Swift. I complained about this before. I press my um, locator keys and it changes the precinct. Put something in for for um, the cat. I'm not going to put crash. I'm going to put um, white noise. The sound was coming from Dropbox. What's going on?
before the drop, lamb chop fucking the table, yeah. Okay, you, you, you got the lingo, man. You, you got it down. I could do a lot of twisted things with these. There's so much more in all these as well. I still don't know a way to do all these together. I've searched. Oh, these are all really good, man. Cats are that more in the past five weeks than most of school. <laughs> Respect. I don't think you can learn start a studio stuff at school or in. I mean, you can learn a little bit, I guess, but you've got YouTube, right? And you, if you want to find something out, you will. Will Phillips doing bits. Yeah, man. His artist name is Tourist now. He's amazing. He's a Don. Very talented geezer. massive laziness. <laughs> it's 
like a sort of space monster rearing its head. Which film do they have those kind of like tubey space monster things? It's a bit like that. Worming in and out of the planets. Yeah, Will Phillips is tourist. Check his music out if you haven't if you haven't checked it out. It's wicked. These would be good parts for a remix. I'm gonna do, I do intend to do that. I'll just run the parts off and send it out to you guys and you can have a, we'll do a remix comp, I'd love it. Leave it to the professionals.
think Will Phillips um, sat off making garage because he, he like found his own he found his own vibe. Which is sick. Cat says someone remember someone said to, to me he's MJ Cole Will Phillips. No, we're not the same person, definitely not. I'm, I'm John Terry. Or uh, Trump, what's his name, the snooker player? Judd Trump or something. Do a roads thing. Let's do it over here. Sure about this phone business here. Should I just leave it straight? Turn down there. It's a bit of a weird place for them. Save this as something else. Next one on and tidy it up a bit. So I should come back on some of maybe I'll do some slightly shorter streams. It's not from the beginning, just to like finish off some of these bits that we've done, because I think I've probably done four. Do you know what I mean? Um Let's do this. Oh, that was effective. Don't need any of those. Don't need any of these. There was this thing as well, wasn't there? I'm 
I'm going to stick it at the end so I remember. Okay, this is like the vibe. No drum fills, no mixing. <laughs> Just creation. So this was, it was good actually, because um, everything crashed and we did it all again, I'm proud of that. That's the way it should be. No, doing no or not. Doesn't sound like no. Bass notes are weird, man, especially in headphones. Yeah, the bus is um, having a hard time. Oxford in play, yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the nice things you say, man, everyone. I really appreciate it. I have fun on these. Sounds like there's a click on. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many records you hear. Well, not so many, but sometimes you hear the cowbell on a record and that used to be like an old school click. So quite often on, I don't know, multi-track things, they just like, I reckon someone sticks it up in the mix and they're like, mate, that sounds wicked, that cowbell, leave it in. Beep, pop, pop, pop. I have to get a roots maneuver on this or something, to something a bit spacey.
跟我飞吧。Cowbells. Uh, it would be great to see you create some 97 ish MJ Cole rack mat type stuff. Yeah, I could do it. I'd rather do 2021 MJ stuff. I've done that other stuff. <laughs> I wonder what a lamb bell would sound like. It almost sounds like an alarm bell, doesn't it? I wonder what a, a lamb bell. Yeah. I did, I, I did. Swift, did I say that um, I'm going to do that? No, 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 cool, man. I, I've done, um, you can look back through the streams. They're on, there is highlights on, on, on Twitch and I uh, put them on YouTube as well. So you can have a look through. <clears throat> Oops, some spam. <clears throat> yeah, I do. I'm just starting out. Yeah, I've got a bot, but he's on uh, <laughs> she, they are on a lax setting. So yeah, we've come a long way with this one. It's, it's cool. <clears throat> These drums don't need to be here, all this stuff. Better off to be here. Oh, thanks for the, the um, yeah, the mod offers. I'm going to get it together. <clears throat> at the front as well, isn't it? be a bot. <laughs> this is all I need, right? A bot can be my bot. It's the bot bot. Mo bot. Yeah, I need to do the sub thing, but um, I have to. I have to basically um, come on a little bit more often. I just need to pop on for like an hour here and there and then I'll tick all the boxes and then we can do that and all that other stuff, exciting stuff. I might just jump on quickly over the next week for a bit. I 
think there's something, there's some good stuff in here. And I've got two amazing sample um, banks out of it. Let's just appreciate those again. I like the reverses. All from the arpeggios. Reversed. They've got more mileage of these. I could definitely chop in and in, um, chop into them. The, no, he doesn't detach. He's like, he's stuck there, man. He's happy though, look. Cat says, if you release a sample pack based the names on meat and vegetables, yeah. But someone's saying, I need to get Maggie, right? And she's got, what's she got? Something I've forgotten, not a skateboard, something else. it but I'm going to do it in real time and that's a good way to um, finish <laughs> old school real time um. twitch sticks I'm going to call it like space two Oh yeah, scooter, right. Yeah, I've got a crane song have a set. I love it. It's it's a bit of a mad one because um they're not cheap and you kind of think it's only a monitor controller, but it's just the 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 um DA converters are amazing on it. And there's just there's just something about it. it's got so many functions just made by kind of Crazy genius. Oh yeah, the whiteboard. Oh, it's not, it's, um, you can see it's a window now, right? That's um, Shoreditch out there. with do I do creative things um yeah I'm just I'm quite creative I wouldn't say I'm good at drawing or anything like that but I like you know making stuff um especially with my kids when I build things I've got glue guns and paints and stuff like that <laughs> sounds so yeah I've got glue guns I've got a glue gun and paints Ciao. Um, cycling, I try and do 200k a week, so 10,000 a year. 
I haven't done that so much recently. I did it last week. Yeah, I've had a go on some Lego. Geometric shapes, magnetic ones. I built my kids a swing in my house as well. Thanks for the thanks for the love, guys. Fallout, Fallout Lord, what's that? Um, it looks like Lion, is it Lionel Richie? I oh, thought Ross, right, sorry. <laughs> he's very small. It's not like that's, he's not like that in real life, no? Tiny. Tiny man. Thanks, Vince. I'm proud of this one because we did a lot of work. If you if you're here from the beginning, you saw we did um arpeggios and then ran it through um OB6 synth and then we, the whole computer crashed. I had to get my laptop out and start again. It bounced. Yeah, it's bounced. Okay, guys. Nice one. That went on quite a while, didn't it? Um, I'm going to jump on randomly, but otherwise I'll be back next Wednesday. Definite. Um, yeah, thanks for all the kind words and stuff. It's been, I've, I've enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll catch you um, next week. Uh, I can raid someone. It's got to be, um, it's got to be knowledge. Yeah. Nice one, guys. I'll see you next Wednesday. Maybe a little bit before. Uh, let's do this one. Peace. Thank you.